Uh, hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hi there. Can everybody hear me? Hi, Sarah. Daisy, good evening. How are you? I see. Margarita, hello. Hello, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. Raquel, hello. Um, I see Ingrid here. Uh, Adriana, good evening. Carmen. Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Jose Luis, hello. How are you doing? Raquel, okay. So uh, thanks everybody for joining. How are you? How are you doing today? Is everything okay? Is your Monday good? Hello. Uh, can you hear me? Well, I think I only have girls, right? No, I see Jose Luis here. I see Oscar. Good evening, guys. Uh, thanks so much for joining. Me regalan confirmación solamente. Give me confirmation. Si me logran escuchar, please. If you can listen to me. Si me estoy quebrando or every, anything. Me escuchan bien. Can you listen to me very well? Yes. Very well. Yes, teacher. No yes. problem. Amazing, thank you so much. All right, guys, I'm super happy to be with you and thank you to uh, thank you and welcome to Intermediate. Uh, inter Pre-intermediate number two. My name is Julia Sarseño and I'm going to be uh, your facilitator, right? Hi, Daisy, thank you for the camera. <laughs> or I'm gonna be like your teacher this module. Eh, guys, eh, solamente una preguntita here. Um, so, normalmente, right? Normally, intento mezclar eh, inglés español, pero de tal manera que español sea el mínimo. <laughs> so, today, probably, voy a hablar un poquito más de español. I'm gonna be speaking Spanish a little bit. Eh, para que escuchen como eh, mi pronunciación, mi velocidad también, eh, para que nuestro oído se vaya acostumbrando, right? And then, little by little, vamos a ir bajando un poquito al español, and then uh, we are going to be eh, practicing a little bit. Eh, so, gracias por acompañarnos. Thank you so much eh, for being here, guys. Espero que sea un módulo de mucho provecho para ustedes, right? Um, that we can learn, that we can practice a lot, y sobre todo que podamos participar. Eh, Ceci, good evening, thank you for joining. Gracias a quienes nos ayudaron con la camarita, right? And uh, ya que tenemos eh, clases eh, de forma virtual, es un poco difícil a veces eh, saber si hay preguntas, si hay dudas. Eh, so la cámara va a ser como nuestro medio de comunicación, you know? So, si veo a Daisy con cara de, oh my goodness, ¿qué está pasando acá? So, I know exactly, right? Like, ajá, exactly. So, um, la cámara nos ayuda a percibir cosas que a veces por pena, por miedo, no activamos el micrófono, right? No hacemos preguntas. So, please, guys, eh, si la medida de lo posible, les voy a pedir que me ayuden con su camarita durante toda la hora, si podemos, right? Si necesitan ir al baño a tomar agua, no hay problema, la apaguen y luego la volvemos a encender, right? Cause creo que no es lo mismo que me vean acá, right? That you see me, que identifiquemos la voz, las personas, la, what the person looks like. A ver un espacio en negro, you know, and I'm like, se durmió, está ahí, what's going on, right? <laughs> so this is going to like help us a lot, right? Um, guys, pre-intermediate, ¿cómo se sienten? How do you feel? Um, are you ready to communicate? Uh, ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que practicaron, eh, like, speaking? ¿Acaban de terminar módulo o um, ya hace bastante que están esperando? So tell me, tell me a little bit about your background. Ya hace bastante que estamos esperando. Ok, bastante hablamos de el año anterior, este año, una semana, dos semanas, like, how long? ¿Cuánto tiempo no han practicado? 
no sé si todos ya estaban juntos, son nuevos, eh, no se conocen. Guys, ¿todos se conocen? ¿Reconocen las camaritas, los nombres? No. Algunos sí. Ok. En mi but... caso tenía un mes y algo, más o menos. Ok. De que like el curso. Uh -huh. Oh, ok. A month. A month for you. And so, por Margarita, un mes. Uh, hi, José Luis, good evening. Y para los demás, guys. Uh, ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que practicaron? One month? Two months? Margarita. Okay. Mismo curso. Nice. You were in the same, okay. You were in the same module. Uh, for the rest of you guys, Carmen, Ceci, Oscar, Raquel. ¿Estaban juntos? Were you together? José Luis, were you together? Ingrid. Hello, good evening, teacher. Uh, Hello. En mi caso, eh, yo empecé este año con el pre-intermedio 1, pero allá por quizás febrero, creo, pero luego este, no, po, no, po, no pude seguir en el programa, pero no, no fui seleccionada y ahora sí. Porque, ah, ok. Bueno. No, bienvenida entonces. So, welcome. No, no worries. So, menciona que es de enero. Uh, so, we're talking about like como cuatro meses, right? Cuatro meses sin practicar. A más que en UDs, porque es importante saber como qué tan fresco viene, right? Uh, si tenemos el vocabulario súper fresco, las preguntas, like, eh, frescas, o si de alguna forma ya se nos comenzó a olvidar. Because remember that este es un proceso, and uh, si ustedes se van de vacación, por ejemplo, y regresan, ya de repente se perdió, right? So we are lost, we don't know what's going on. Um, and that's why la práctica es lo más importante. Raquel, dígame, vi por ahí su manita, so tell me. Hi, good evening, teacher. In my case, I didn't practice about last year. Uh, maybe August. Oh, last August. Year. Okay. But I tried to study, but it's not easy because I have, mm, I have a lot of things to do. But I try to listen to music, I read, and I try to practice in a few minutes a day. Wow, but that sounds good. Very good pronunciation, very good Thank structure. You, okay, sounds good. So August, all right. Uh, Jeffrey, good evening. Thank you for joining. How you doing? I see Erika too. So hi Erika, good evening. Thank you so much for joining as well. Great to see you guys. Okay, so thanks everybody for, for joining. Like super, super cool to have you. Um, eh, para quienes se acaban de unir, my name is Julia Sarceño. I'm gonna be working with you. Eh, les presento un poquito, like the first minutes, eh, you know, eh, parte del programa nos pide que les mostremos un poco sobre las generalidades. Yo sé que algunos las conocen. Um, this is not new, así que algunos detallitos eh, voy a pasarlo rápido. And then we can practice a little bit, nos podemos conocer, right? And también puedo escuchar sus voces, puedo escuchar su pronunciación, the way you communicate and everything. So, uh, guys, oficialmente, like, welcome to intermediate number, pre-intermediate number two. Um, we are going to be together in this module, all right? And... Um, Let's present un poquito sobre mí. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. Um, so I have an, um, a VA in language teaching. Um, I have been a teacher for maybe 10 years. And uh, I have some experience. Uh, I worked at some universities like US, Evangelica. I worked uh, for ProLingua too. Um, and I have been working for Regal International for maybe three or four years. So that's like a lot of time. And I have been with Insafort for about four or five years. So it's like, like a lot of time here. Um, guys, solamente voy a ir sobre un parte de generalidades and then we can practice as I said. Eh, no sé si todos ya están en el grupo de WhatsApp. Is everybody there? Hay alguien que todavía haga falta? Um, si aún no se han agregado, please guys, um, vayan al correo donde recibieron la invitación. Ahí está un link eh, para, o un enlace, right, para que nos auto agreguemos al grupo. In case, uh, en caso que quieran pertenecer, 
si no quieren, igual, right? Uh, no es obligatorio, but mi recomendación es que lo hagamos por cualquier eh, detalle, tareas, you know, activities, and everything, right? So, para tener mejor comunicación or anything. So, um, that is the WhatsApp group invitation. Solamente recordemos que eh, este programa es de una hora. Vamos a estar acá de 8 a 9. And uh, normalmente inicio la clase exactamente a las 8. Terminamos exactamente a las 9. Tal vez le robe por ahí un minutito extra. But it's not going to be much. And, um, yeah. And uh, eh, necesitamos como mínimo un 8, right? Or 80% para poder tener una nota de aprobación en las tareas, en las evaluaciones, es decir, el conteo de la plataforma. Um, guys, quick question here. ¿Todos tienen acceso a la plataforma? ¿Hay alguien que todavía no la haya visto, no la haya trabajado, se la haya bloqueado? Yes, teacher, tenemos acceso. Bueno, en mi parte sí. ¿Ya les aparece activado pre-intermediate pre, uh, pre 2? ¿Ya les aparece el, el nuevo yeah. grupo? Ok, super. Thank yes, you, teacher. Erika. Ok, perfect. Thank you for the confirmation. Nice. So, lo que vamos a ir haciendo, guys, es intentar antes de la clase, right, uh, completarlo. De esa manera, avanzamos con la parte gramatical, avanzamos con el contenido, la explicación que está ahí, Um, y de esa forma también en la clase no voy, no voy a robarles más tiempo ya para revisar la plataforma, sino solo dudas, you know, questions, eh, to clarify something y podemos aprovecharlo para practicar, right? To practice eh, probably listening, to practice speaking, to practice vocabulary. Um, do you agree with me? ¿Están de acuerdo? So, vemos los videos, vemos la plataforma antes de la clase, cinco minutitos, no le va a robar más tiempo el video, five minutes before. Y venimos a clarificar. And we try to uh, clarify questions and to speak a little more. Is that okay with you? Is that, that, that sound good? Yes, teacher. Excellent, teacher. Okay, nice. Uh, guys, the second thing. Uh, it says here, material de apoyo será compartido a criterio en formato digital. For this module, eh, en la plataforma ustedes van a encontrar, as you know, the material. But... Um, por cuestión de derechos de autor, muchas veces no les podemos presentar acá videos, right? Or algo que haya sido creado por alguien más. So, guys, con respecto a eso, um, what I'm going to be doing is les voy a compartir por anticipado en la plataforma un par de videos extra exercises para que lo puedan completar en su tiempo, right? No me gusta saturar eh, de tareas, you know, like grammar, grammar, grammar. Eh, pero sí les voy a pedir, you know, el compromiso en poder practicar. Si vemos un tema el día de ahora, por ejemplo, uh, next class is going to be like, uh, okay, ya a poner en práctica el tema, right? To practice it a lot. And especialmente si tenemos eh, como un video que ver, sí les pido que lo veamos antes, right? Eh, para clarificar cualquier duda y esa, de esa forma aprovechamos la hora que tenemos que no se siente, right? Cuando sentimos ya faltan 10 minutos, 15 minutos para las 9 and uh, el tiempo se nos va volando. So, uh, normally this is the way I, I work and uh, additionally, um, something else I like to say is that uh, guys, me gusta mucho escucharlos, me gusta escuchar mucho la participación Uh, as I said before, ahorita estoy hablando español, but normally, um, creo que hablo muy poquito. I speak the least I can. Y los dejo pues que ustedes hablan, you know, que, se, que destruyan y construyan, because de eso se trata, right? Uh, no es solo para que me escuchen, sino para que ustedes practiquen tanto como sea posible, escuchar sus experiencias um, and, and, uh, y utilizar el lenguaje, right? That we are learning at the moment. Um, solo como recordatorio, nuestro módulo se divide en cuatro semanas, but hay cinco unidades, por lo tanto, esta semana, el día jueves, debemos de haber terminado sección 1 y sección 2. So, by Thursday, or lo último, by Friday morning, uh, voy a estar revisando, guys, um, eh, y si les pido su ayuda, right, con la plataforma, que entremos, la completemos, ustedes ya están súper familiarizados con esto, no les va a tomar una hora, no les va a tomar dos horas completarla. Son ejercicios eh, bastante sencillos. La mayoría son de ABC, ABC, and uh, super fáciles de completar, right? So, guys, eh, para esta semana, I'm going to ask you to complete section number one and section number two. 
eh, para ya el sábado no estarles escribiendo, José Luis, complétamela, please, you know? <laughs> but, but pueden tener un fin de semana tranquilo, right? So you can have a relaxing uh, weekend. Eh, by week number two, tenemos un examen medio que lo van a encontrar en la plataforma. And uh, tenemos un examen final, right? Um, hasta la última semana. Y la plataforma, usted, como saben, no es necesario que vayamos solo esta semana uno y dos. Si usted quiere terminar esta, la plataforma en esta semana, do it, no problem. You can definitely do it uh, because in that way, revisamos los videos, revisamos el contenido y solo venimos a preguntar, right? So you just ask questions y lo aprovechamos a practicar as much as possible. Um, then a couple of things. Guys, para alguien es la primera vez que trabaja con Zoom, is this the first time? No, not right. All of you have worked with Zoom before. Hi, Guadalupe, good evening. Okay, creo que no. All right, solo le voy a pedir que nos ayuden con su nombre completo, al igual que me aparece el de Raquel Noemi, José Luis, right? Um, a veces cuando entramos, eh, for example, en mi nombre aparece inglés corporativo. O si entramos con el teléfono, aparece el nombre del teléfono. Solamente me ayudan, please, que quede registrado eh, su nombre, right? Um, también por si en algún momento Insafort um, decide hacer revisión de, de la conectividad, you know, um, and, o hacer una auditoría y saber que usted es su boca. Just to know. Um, so here we have a couple of things. It says botón silencio. Uh, but guys, definitivamente el botón silencio es el que menos vamos a usar. The idea is that you speak English, that you participate. El número de asistencia is not necessary here. La camarita sí, guys, se lo voy a pedir encarecidamente que utilicemos la camarita. Um, y va a ser solo una hora, right? It's only a couple of minutes. Busca un lugar que le guste, una esquinita de su casa, o si no le gusta lo que está atrás. Uh, al igual que en mi cámara, cambia el fondo. And uh, that, that is totally fine. That's good. Uh, vamos a tener participación activa, right? So everybody try to participate. Yo sé que algunos nos da pena, nos da miedo que nos vayan a, a, a corregir o se vayan a reír. Or, but guys, acá nadie va a ser bullying, right? Todos vamos a aprender and, and that is the objective we have. So to practice. Eh, el uso de chat, in case eh, you don't want to use your microphone uh, y tienen preguntas or comments or questions o quieren revisar una oración, Use the chat, right? Use the emojis. That's good. It says here, levantar la mano. So uh, unless it is super necessary, so you can raise your hand in the application and uh, mantener respeto, right? Um, but yo estoy seguro que no vamos a tener ninguna dificultad, guys. No es por ustedes. <laughs> it's not for you. It's like for other groups. Um, so let me see what else. And uh, eso es parte de lo que ya les mencionaba. And uh, so, iniciamos el día de ahora. We're going to get started today. And uh, la clase es exactamente 60 minutos, right? Um, I'm not going to steal like a lot of time. Guys, eh, preguntas. This is just, yo sé que es información que ustedes manejan. I know that you handle this information already. But eh, en caso que sea la primera vez that you are with us, eh, questions, doubts, comments, anything, no? Me preocupan, guys, los veo friqueados. <laughs> so I see you, I don't know. You, you look like pretty serious. So what's going on? Talk to me. <laughs> Everything is okay, teacher. Everything's okay. All right, good. That's really good to hear. It's really nice. Okay, guys, uh, so quick thing. Um, when I started speaking English, me emociono. I get super excited. Guys, si voy muy rápido, if I am speaking too fast, um, if you don't follow me, if you don't get me, Please, dear me, tell me, uh, like, teacher, can you speak slowly? Teacher, you're speaking too fast. And I'm okay, you know, I'm going to slow down because, you know, uh, ya les va a pasar que cuando se emocionan, when you get something, uno quiere hablar rápido or want to share information like super quick. Okay, guys. So um, that is enough for me. All right. I have talked, I have spoken already too much and I want to listen to your voices. So I want to listen to your names or how you like to be called uh, or something, some personal information you would like to share with the rest of us, something the rest of your classmates don't know about you. So uh, yeah, anything. 
what you like or what you don't like. Um, for example, my name is Julia, but I don't like Julia. Please call me Julie. Julie, teacher, Miss, Miss Arsenio, I'm good. So um, I don't like Julia. I prefer Julie. Um, and something that I don't like is cats. I really hate cats. Don't ask me why, but I cannot have cats in all my life. What about you guys? So what is something you like? What is something you don't like? How do you like to be called? Active participation. Oh, by the way, um, I got two things. Support and volunteers. I normally like to have volunteers. Pero si no, está también como el otro lado, que son victims. Guys, you can be volunteers or you can become victims. So I guess you better be volunteers. So let's, let's do it, guys. Uh, who goes first? Only one, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Margarita. Go for it. Okay. Hello, good evening. My Hello. name is uh, Margarita Medina. I like to tell me Margarita. And I like, um, I like um, a kitchen. Okay. And food. Oh, okay. Do you cook? Yes. Okay. I love it too. Nice. What do you like to cook? Uh, every Desserts? Every food. <laughs> oh, nice. That's us. good to know. Me. I love I love eating, so <laughs> you can tell. Okay. Nice. Thank you, Margarita. So your your favorite place is the kitchen at home. What is something yes. you don't like, Margarita? What is something you don't like? Don't like. Hmm? I don't like. Um, I don't like. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, something about food. Uh, something about music. Anything? Think about it. I'll come back to you. No problem. <laughs> okay. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Nah. I, I like es más lo que me gusta que lo que no. <laughs> no, but there there should be something that you don't like. Think about it. <laughs> no problem. Margarita, <laughs> okay. select another person, please. Choose someone else. Jose Luis. Oh, okay. Oh, Jose Luis. Hello, Margarita. Hello. There teacher. you go. Hello. Hello, my name is Jose Luis Gomez. Uh, I dislike or I hate cats too. Oh yes. I love dogs. Uh, uh, I like uh, play soccer, mm -hmm. play video games. Um, I like uh, sea food, the beach, and I ready uh, learning in this class. Oh, nice, nice. Thank you so much. Wow, you like a lot of things. <laughs> That's really nice. Jose Luis, how do you like to be called? What do you prefer, Jose Luis? Jose Luis. Jose Luis. Jose Luis, okay. I prefer, Thank you. okay. Yeah, because some people prefer Jose, right? Or, or <laughs> Chepe, or I don't know. Okay, yes. thank you. <laughs> thank okay. you, Jose Luis, you said. All right, Jose Luis, who's next? Um... Oh, Jeffrey. Okay, I see Jeffrey's hand. Uh, well, Jeffrey. Okay. Yeah, all right. Thank you, Jeffrey. Nice. Hello. Hello. Um, my name is Jeffrey Torres. Uh, I would like to tell me Jeffrey. Okay. And I like the farm animals and okay. I don't like the veget vegetables. Oh, really? No potatoes, no carrots, nothing. Mm. Also fruits. Wait, you don't like fruit either? Um, some, someone. For example, what is something that you don't like? Do um, you like mangoes? Mangoes, strawberries. You don't uh, like them or you like them? I like. Oh, okay. I, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so what do you <laughs> eat? <laughs> okay, so mangoes and the strawberries are good. So what is something you don't like? Pineapple, mm. papaya? 
papaya, um, um, the vegetables like um, apio, spinaca. Oh, okay. You don't like them. Uh, carrots. Okay. okay. Oh, already. Thank you. So you prefer to be called Jeffrey, you said, right? You prefer Jeffrey. Uh, okay, I think that was a yes. <laughs> okay, uh, Raquel, let me go with you. Thank you, Jeffrey. Nice meeting you. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Raquel Hueso. I like to call me Raquel or Rachel. I like uh, when I pronounce Rachel. Um, um, I live with uh, my husband and I have two daughters. And in my free time, I like to sleep. I like to listen to music and I love to eat. Um, uh, because that I love to eat a lot. I want, I have to walk every day mm -hmm. um, because my health is, mm -hmm. it's good for my health. And I want to learn a lot. I, I love speaking English, but I, it's, it's no easy for me, but I try it. It's a goal for me. Okay. And I slow, but uh, sure, secure. I don't know how do you say. Lento, pero seguro. Okay, I got it, I get it. No, that sounds amazing. I want, yes, really I cool. try to remember. And when my daughters, I practice with their books and their class, I listen. When they was on online, oh. uh, I listen the, the teacher. Oh, but <laughs> that, that. that's amazing. Okay, <laughs> cool, super, super cool. All right. Yeah, thank you so much, Rachel. Uh, so, Erika, let me go with you. What's something you like, something you don't like? Okay, teacher, good evening. Good evening, okay. last night. Um, my name is Erika Alejandra. I had a degree in business administration. Um, I am 27 years old, single. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I, live, <laughs> I live in San Suntepeque, Cabaña. Ah, okay. Are you in San uh, right now? Uh, right now. Are you in San Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. I like to exercise. Mm -hmm. The gym. <laughs> I like soccer. Uh, bueno, I like play soccer and basketball. Mm -hmm. I don't like cat. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I and I like dogs. Oh. I have two dogs. I have two dogs. And I like to dance and listen to music. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Erica. Well, I discovered that a couple of you don't like cats. I thought that I was strange or weird because I didn't like cats. So thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Mr. Melendez. Oscar, let's go with you. Hello, teacher. Hi. Um, my name is Oscar Melendez. I like to tell me Oscar. Um, I love cats. Um, I have two cats. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> really, I love the cat. Okay. And I like kitchen and I study culinary arts. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you're going to become a chef. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh, um, I have all business. Oh. Uh, um, I don't like eggplants and eggs. Uh, um, I'm a singer. Uh, I sing in the church. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah. And I love the English. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> nice, guys. Just by a little bit, I got to know a lot about you. That sounds amazing. Okay. So good to know. 
So guys, we have a chef. Margarita likes cooking. So, you know, Oscar, maybe you can get some tips from Oscar. <laughs> okay. Um, Betty, Miss Rivera. Hello. Okay, hello. Um, my name is Teddy Escobar. I like Tammy Baby. I 28 years old. Mm -hmm. I like to go to the beach uh, and the campament. I like, I have two children. Yeah. I love the music and sing in church. Oh, nice. I work with acrylista nails oh so you do nails okay yeah. nice sounds really good so betty uh you said that you like singing but betty oscar you're not relatives no okay. Uh, no okay <laughs> yeah exactly so because i heard that you like singing in the church okay okay cool <laughs> thank you betty betty that is a very interesting and uncommon name is mm. your name betty betty Betty, okay, wow, Betty. super cool. That's definitely not Salvadorian. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let me see, Guadalupe, I think you are there. <laughs> Hi, Guadalupe, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, great to see you. Tell us a little bit about you, Guadalupe. Do you prefer um, Guadalupe? Do you prefer Lisette? Lisette, I prefer Lisette, please. Ah, okay, cool. Um, I um, work on aduana, aduana El Salvador. Okay. Um, I like um, the dogs. I love the dogs. Okay. Um. I like cook very much. Oh, okay, good and, to know. And the exercise. Okay. Thank you, Guadalupe. That sounds really nice. So you are animal lovers. Some of you like cats, dogs, uh, kitten. Some of you like cooking. Okay. I'm more into eating, but that sounds good. Uh, let me see. I haven't heard. Daisy, let me go with you. Good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening, everyone. I'm Daisy Rodriguez. Uh, I like listening to music. I, I like ride the motorcycle. Oh, okay. I hate, I hate the traffic. Okay. Yeah, me too. Okay, uh, what do you prefer, uh, so Daisy or Carolina? Which is better for you? I prefer Daisy. Daisy, okay, nice. Thank you so much, Daisy. We agree, traffic is horrible. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Sara, are you there? Hey, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hey, my name is Sara. I work in uh, aduana. Oh, so Lisa, then you work together. Uh, yes. Ah, oh, okay. Um, I from in San, San Salvador. I live in San Salvador. I I like um, listening to music. Mm -hmm. I love dance, dancing. Okay. I had I had cooking. Okay, me too. <laughs> okay. And I see uh, Erika like uh. <laughs> okay. See, yes, I I like other um activities. Um, activities okay. um, in my house. Except cooking. Mm. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but I prefer I prefer cooking rather than doing the dishes, you know, if I have to choose. <laughs> so I prefer to cook still. All right. Thank you, Sarah. Nice to hear that. Uh, I got Ingrid. Are you there? Uh, Ingrid, you're mute. 
Hello, good evening. Hello, there you go. Uh, my name is Ingrid. Um, I prefer uh, Ingrid. Mm -hmm. uh, I love cat. Um, I love pop music. Oh, okay. And country music. Oh, country. Nice. Um, okay. I don't like cooking. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the, we got a couple. And I see Oscar disapproving face like, really, girls? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, Oscar, we, we are not into cooking. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Well, but we have different abilities, right? So I I just can, uh, if I make coffee, the water, you know, burns. So, <laughs> okay. No, just kidding. Uh, thank you, Ingrid. I got uh, Carmen, you there? Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. My name is Carmen Dia. Um, uh, uh, to work a hospital. Um, oh. assistant clinic. Oh, okay. Um, so I you're like a dental cats. assistant. Okay. Do you have cats? Do, do you have any cats? What? So you like. Portado. Yes. Uh, I actually, I hear you're breaking. Let's do something. Uh, apague la camarita, turn off your, your camera just a moment. And esperemos que mejore la señal. So hopefully that is working. A little better? Yeah. Okay. So do you have cat? Do you have cats? Yeah. How many? One. Oh, okay. So you got one. Okay. What is something that you don't like, Carmen? Um repeat, please. Yes. What is oh, sorry. you like do you like cats? What about something you don't like? <laughs> oh, mm. don't like. Um, no, nothing. 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 Okay. Okay. Wow, guys, really? <laughs> I don't <laughs> like a lot of things. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to give you that as homework. Make a list of the things you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> so we can get it. No, thank you. That is okay. All right. I'm missing a couple here. Um, Ivania? Hello. Hello. Good evening. Uh, good night, everyone. Uh, my name is Ivania Guevara de Gonzalez. And I um, work in a bank. Okay. I am um, a 48 years old. Oh, you a, look young. <laughs> very <laughs> big, <laughs> a big woman. <laughs> no, but, but actually you look younger. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I like, um, I like travel and read. Um, and um, I like um, the dogs. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I don't like the cats. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> no, why. <laughs> no, no, it's my favorite. Yes, I can have uh, a lot of dogs, but never a cat. Okay, okay. No, no, no. One Got dog, it. one dog. <laughs> okay, nice. What do you prefer, Anna or Ivania? Uh, Ivania. Ivania. Ivania is my preferred. Okay, so I got Ivania there. Thank you so much, Ivania. And I think I'm missing someone, but um, Adriana, are, are you there? I'm missing Ceci too. Hi, Adriana, good evening. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, my name is Adriana Maricruz Guerra. Um, I do not like dance. I like to cook. Mm -hmm. I like I like chocolate. Chocolate. Oh, do you have a favorite brand of chocolate? What is your favorite? Um, 
Because in, in chocolate, you can have like uh, this cho chocolate, you can have sneakers, you can have M&M. A, a sneaker. Okay, sneakers. Okay. I Red prefer M&M. So I don't know why. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sounds nice. Thank you, Adriana. Uh, nice to hear you. And I got Ceci. Ceci, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Uh, okay, and good evening, everyone. Uh, sorry, I have problems with my camera. Oh. Maybe I will resolve tomorrow. Okay, thank but, you. Okay. That would be great. Okay. Uh, uh, my name is Cecilia. I like, um, well, uh, I, I like to be called Ceci. Mm -hmm. um, I study in the university. Oh, uh, what do you study? Uh, international relations. Oh, okay. Relations internationales mm -hmm. in the Universidad del Salvador. Oh, okay. Sí. Um, on weekends, I study un diplomado in el ESPE, the Escuela de Especialización San, Fris San Friscana de Agape. Mm -hmm. um, I have a girlfriend. Uh, I hate the cats. Okay. And I don't like cook. Uh, I like to watch TV or movies. Okay. Um, I hate the soccer. Okay. I like, <laughs> I like uh, to play with my puzzles. Uh, puzzles? Rompecabezas? Puzzles. Ah, okay, okay. Puzzles. Uh, yeah. for example, who was the Rubik? I don't know. Uh, really? Like, yeah, yes. Rubik. Wow, they are hard. <laughs> they are really difficult. Okay. Yeah. Mm, it's all. Okay. Nice. I see. That is really good. Guys, amazing. Thank you so much for your presentations, for your introduction. That was really good. Um, and also because I got to listen to your vocabulary, I get to listen to your voices. Very good English, you know, so very nice, uh, structured, very organized, very good pronunciation. That sounds really nice. And so now I have a couple of questions for you so we can get a little bit familiar with this. Um, Today, we are going to just have like a little English review in case you're, you have forgotten your English a little bit. So we're going to do, guys, one little activity. Uh, probably not everybody will be able to participate, but hopefully, yes. So I'm going to show you some questions. And uh, this is called a non-stop activity. Uh, so it is non-stop. Do you know the meaning of non-stop? Do you know what is non-stop? Yes, teacher, I can see. Okay, what is non-stop, guys? I don't know, teacher. No para. Sorry. Uh -huh, exactly. So non-stop means that you cannot stop. Okay, guys, so we are going to start working a little bit with fluency, vocabulary, and everything. For example, here, you can see a lot of questions. Do you have any pet? What was the last book you read? Do you like to cook? What is your favorite dog? I'm sorry, your favorite food. I'm, I'm, I'm saying dog, <laughs> probably because you were saying dog before. So the activity is this. Normally, when we answer, we say, do you have any pet? Yes, no, and that's it. So what I want you to do is easy, guys. You are going to speak for 30 seconds, today only 30 seconds. So 30 seconds answered the question that you have right here, but non-stop. So guys, no pueden parar. You cannot stop uh, answering the question, okay? So I have here, I have the, the timer. I have 30 seconds, okay? And guys, you gotta make it to 30 seconds. Si ya no hayan que decir, invéntenselo. So make it up, but the idea is to talk for 30 seconds. I know that the time is little, but let's see if it can work. Let's see if we are able to do it. Are you ready, guys? Yes. For, for example, imagine yes. I ask you, are you single or married? 
If you say single, but you have to give us information. If you say married, you have to give us information for 30 seconds, yeah? So not only just yes, no, but give us information, okay? So let's start. My first victim, guys. Da, 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 da. Adriana, you are the first person on the list. <laughs> Sorry. So you are my first person today. Uh, Adriana, are you ready? Oh, yeah, you can see that. Okay, so Adriana, I'm going to give you the question and you have 30 seconds to answer it, but non-stop, okay? No puede parar. Uh, Spanish, English, whatever. No, English, Spanish, no. English, but keep on going, all right? Adriana, ready? Mm. Yes, maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Adriana, where are you? There you go. Okay, this is the question, Adriana. Do you like, I'm sorry, do you live alone? Do you live alone? Ready? I am. Um... 30 seconds. You have 30 seconds in which you have to give us more information. If you live alone, you can say yes, but give information. Mm. If you say um, no, give us information. Este, voy a contestarle. Yes, okay. you have to answer, pero en 30 yeah. segundos. No se puede detener. You cannot stop. So it is called non-stop. For example, if I tell you, do you live alone? Uh, no, I live with my sister. Uh, my mother doesn't live in the same house and my father um, is no longer alive. I have a lot of brothers. I have a lot of sisters too, but I just share the house with my oldest uh, sister. Uh, sometimes, so, and, and then you continue, right? So, but the idea is that, that you have to give information. Ready, Adriana? Um, yes. Okay. Do you live alone? 30 seconds. One, two, three, go. Um, yes. Um, go, go. Uh, who do you live with? Give us, give us information. I live with my cat, my dog. <laughs> um, chicken. And the time is over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no worries. No worries. That is fine. You were the first one. So that is exactly the way it goes, guys. So the idea is to always uh, give us a little bit more information. Adriana, select the next person, please. Select a la siguiente. Select next person. Adriana? Audrey. Betty Rivera. Rivera, okay. Uh, Betty, are you there? Are you with us? Okay. Yes. Nice. Okay, perfect. The question is, do you live in a house or in an apartment? But give us a lot of information. Ready? Okay. Go. I live in a house. I live in Casaltepeque with in the house my parents, okay. but we um other other directions. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Continue. Um, go on. You I, can do it. I live go with my husband and my sons. And time is over, yes. <laughs> that was good, that was really nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the information, really good. And okay guys, today was only 30 seconds because we are going to do activities like this para que vayamos desarrollando fluidez little by little, right? Sin memorizarlo, algo eh, super natural. You did an amazing job, so no worries about it. Tomorrow, guys, tenemos más preguntas acá. We are going to continue tomorrow. Y le vamos ya a agregar al minuto, right? So tomorrow is not going to be 30 seconds, but it's going to be a minute, and so forth, and so forth, and so forth. But very good job. 
um, we got 10 minutes. So vamos a trabajar, guys, con el tema del de día de ahora, like today's topic, that is talking a little bit about uh, frequency. So give me just a second and let me show you. Ooh, okay. Let me show you a couple of, oh, wait, 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 wait. Something happened to my presentation. Okay, so uh, today we're gonna be talking a little bit about this question that is how often. Okay, guys, recuerdan haber estudiado este tema? Do you remember you had studied this topic before? How often do you? Adverb yes, the teacher. frequency, yes. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Now, guys, you are pro in this. Okay, exactly. So, how often do you frequency words? How often you perform different activities? Can you tell me a couple of words that you remember uh, that we can use for frequency? We have, for example, always, never, never. Uh huh. Sometimes. Sometimes, yes. Any other? Every day. Every, day. Every day, yes. Can you repeat that, sorry? Often, I think you said. Okay, yes, often. What else? Every day. Every day, yes. Okay, we have a couple of words too that express uh, some sort of frequency. You're totally right about it. So, guys, normally we have these expressions. Always, that is like 100%, all the time. What is the opposite? Never, that is 0%, right? But what happens, for example, if I ask you, hey guys, do you eat uh, cereal? How often do you eat cereal? Or how often do you eat a maruchan? So maybe it is not exactly never, but it is not sometimes. Usually. So, oh, and we got usually two here. But for example, I eat a maruchan once, in a year, so once a year, I cannot use any of this. What word can I use? Maybe I can use the word hardly ever. Hardly ever. So, uh -huh, so hardly ever is like a little frequency, yeah? So guys, what is an activity that you never do? What is something you never do? So I never, what is something you never do? I never smoke, for example. Uh, I never eat cocktail the concha. <laughs> oh, you never eat shells. Okay, okay. What about the rest? What is something you never do? I never eat tuna. Tuna, really? Okay, so you never eat tuna. Shells. Hate you hate it. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Too nice, delicious. <laughs> no, that's okay. What about the rest? What's something you never eat? Or you never do? The rest, guys? I never eat oysters. Okay, oysters. Okay, so you never eat oysters. All right. So shells, oysters. What about hardly ever, guys? What is an activity that you hardly ever do? So we have the other one that is hardly ever. So I hardly ever. Um, so in my case, for example, I hardly ever go to, uh, to what place? Let me see. I hardly ever go to uh, downtown, downtown San Salvador. Uh, so I hardly ever go to downtown San Salvador. Casi no voy al centro de San Salvador. So hardly ever, right? It's not never because I voy, pero no tan a menudo. So I hardly ever go to downtown San Salvador. What about you guys? What is something you hardly ever do? Do you eat candy? Do you go to the dentist? Do you go to the uh, to the doctor? 
How often do you go to the doctor? I have I hardly ever. Oh, go. you hardly ever go to the doctor. What about the dentist? How often do you go to the dentist? Never. <laughs> uh no wait never no <laughs> maybe hardly ever ah, okay okay that is a good point so we have never hardly ever but we have other words yeah so for example we have seldom or we have the expression rarely so seldom or rarely they are like 10 mm, percent so you do it but you know not very often so seldom or rarely. Guys, pronounce with me, please. Never. Repeat with me. Never. 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 Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Seldom. 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 Rarely. 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 There you go. Sometimes. 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 Usually. 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 Often. 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 Okay, this often. word has the pronunciations. So you can say often or you can say often. So often oh. or often. I often go to the, to the beach or I often go to the beach. So it's okay. You can use any of them. I prefer often because it's faster. And the other one we have is always, right? Um, something always. important or something to remember is that we put them in this position. I never, I hardly ever. So this is the specific position for these words. Um, for example, here, I hardly ever go to downtown San Salvador. It is not common to put hardly ever at the end. I go to downtown San Salvador hardly ever, mm, no. Or for example, um, that we come and we say uh, at the beginning, like hardly ever, I go to downtown San Salvador. Mm, no, not really. This is not a very common position because the most common position for the words is here. I, and then the word. I always, I often, I usually, I sometimes, I hardly ever. And I never. So always we use this um, position. So guys, the question is, how often do you? All right. Um, so how often, how often do you play computer games? Guys, how often do you play computer games? In my case, I never play computer games. I don't like them. What about you? How often do you play computer games? I never play computer games. Okay, never. All right. And the rest? Me too. I never play computer games. You never play computer games. Okay. No. Uh, teacher, excuse me. I have a question. Yes, tell uh, me. What, what's mean hardly ever? Uh, this one is como casi nunca, right? So we have we have never and we have hardly ever. So casi nunca. Okay, uh, okay. That's, you're welcome. That's why here we have sometimes, usually, often. And guys, hay una más acá. There is one word that we can use. Um, often, es como bastante a menudo, right? Like usually as well. Pero que pasa si? No es siempre, pero es casi siempre. So we can use one expression that is almost. So almost, almost always. always. Mm -hmm. So that is casi siempre. Hardly ever, casi nunca. Almost always, casi siempre. Like 90% of the time. So I can say, for example, yo casi siempre me enojo. <laughs> so I almost always get angry. So that is not true. <laughs> okay, but that can be an example too. So normally this is the position. Como armamos preguntas, guys? How do we make questions? Easy. Si se fijan, how often do you? Y luego el verbo, y eso es todo. How often do you play computer games? How often do you visit? Your family, your family. ¿Qué más? Give me some ideas. How often do you eat pupusas? Uh, what activities do you do, guys? How often do you swim? How often do you eat? Swim. Oh, swim, yeah. 
How often do you swim? Exactly. Um, anything else? How often do you watch TV? Oh, how often do you watch? Mm -hmm. So TV, how often do you watch a movie? How often do you watch a soap opera, right? Like La Flor, la, no, no, no. La de Guadalupe? La, la... la Rosa de Guadalupe. That one, yes. <laughs> so how often do you watch La Rosa de Guadalupe? How often do you watch a soap opera? Exactly, that is the one. So guys, this is going to be the homework for tomorrow. For tomorrow, guys, uh, quiero que escriban. I want you to write 10 preguntas. So I'm going to write it here. Write 10 questions using how often do you? No van a escribir respuesta. You're not going to write answers. Solo la pregunta es así. How often do you play computer games? How often do you visit your family? How often do you do puzzles? Hagamos la de cosas interesantes, right? ¿Qué tan a menudo te bañas? Creo que todos lo hacemos. That wouldn't be interesting. Pero si sí saber, por ejemplo, quién ve la rosa de Guadalupe. How often do you watch a soap opera, right? <laughs> or how often do you watch Betty La Fea? I don't know. So something that you think that can be really interesting. So yes, 10 preguntitas, guys. 10 questions en el cuaderno. Nos las van a mandar. And tomorrow, antes de la clase, les voy a pedir que veamos el primer video. So tomorrow, guys, eh, before classes, I'm going to ask you que podamos ver video number one, que sería el 1.3, Adverbs of Frequency, que es exactamente este tema. So here in Adverbs of Frequency, vamos a ver always, never, sometimes, often. Um, y también vemos algunas expresiones que los compañeros mencionaban, every day, once a week, twice a month, y el día de mañana lo vamos a combinar. Y vemos la diferencia como lo usamos, porque son posiciones diferentes, right? Pero el significado no es que varíe or anything. Solo se usan a little bit different. Preguntas, guys. Questions, doubts. No questions, no doubts, nothing. No okay, amazing, amazing. So, guys, solo antes de irnos, eh, les voy a robar un minutito más. Si me ayudan con su camarita para tomarle solo la foto de inicio, please, and share it in the group, that would be amazing. <laughs> ah, ya, ya tomaron postura and everything. <laughs> so, okay. I was not expecting that. Nice. Gracias okay, por I la cámara. Ah, no, pues sí. <laughs> okay, let me take it. Hey, Jeffrey, thank you. Thank you for the camera. Nice meeting you. Okay. There you go, ya se las comparto. Guys, eh, cualquier cosita me pueden escribir en el grupo, right? And uh, recordemos que es, es, es sabe que es para ustedes, you know? So no es para nosotros, es para ustedes. Estamos acá para apoyarlos, para ayudarles. Eh, solo les pido, please, antes de la clase, si sí veamos los videitos, empezamos a trabajar la plataforma y así la clase, you know, hablamos, 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 and we practice as much as possible y menos gramática, right? Un placer conocerlos, everybody. That was a pleasure, okay. and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Thank you, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Take care.